There's a new movie called Puss in Boots The Last Wish, and I saw it a few weeks ago. And despite what some people would think, it was good. However, the reason it was good was not because of an impressive plotline or intriguing world building. No. But because there was one character in it that was done so well that by simply having them exist made everything else better by proxy. This character made all the others so much more deep and meaningful to the audience. The character I'm talking about is Death. But before we unpack who he is, let's first go into how he's introduced. Puss is on his last life after eight previous ones spent in all manner of careless acts that can get you killed. He arrives at the ninth. The doctor informs him of this, but Puss is dismissive. Puss and Boots, the hero, is not afraid of this. Puss leaves the doctor's office and goes to a tavern. He's sitting alone in a bar drinking a glass of milk when suddenly we hear this terrifying whistle. Instantly, everything about this wolf screams creepy and dangerous. Puss thinks he's a bounty hunter, so he draws his sword, ready to strike down this foe. Because Puss in Boots is unafraid of death and cannot be touched by a sword. Only to have a sword cast aside with barely a flick by death. Puss is rattled, but they fight, and Puss in Boots, the hero, cannot be touched by a sword, is given a small cut, only releasing a droplet of blood. And this is where we first see Puss truly afraid of something. He's on his last life, he's just been touched by a blade, something that Puss in Boots, the hero, was unafraid of. He has something to lose now. Puss escapes death, literally, but has lost his sword. He goes to the cat home that the doctor suggested, and essentially, gives up Puss in Boots the hero. From a storytelling standpoint, Puss is so much more interesting when he has something to fear. When he is basically immortal, there was like, one, no stakes, two, not much character depth, but as soon as we introduce Death, Puss starts to become a much more compelling character. Death shows up every time Puss starts to feel secure, building tension. The scene where they escape Jack Horner's castle is triumphant until we hear the telltale whistle of death. This makes Puss feel afraid. He doesn't completely realize it, but death is literally following him. This kind of thing happens twice before the final climax of the movie, and it always happens as soon as Puss starts to feel safe, and it even has gone through a bit of character development. The wolf showing up he reinvigorates Puss on his quest for more lives. Throughout the movie, he slowly, often subconsciously, starts to be okay with the fact that he's on his last life. But death brings back that fear every time and essentially slows Puss's character arc. Again, look how Death simply existing is making everything so much more interesting. The last time Death says howdy before the main climax is when Puss is trapped in a crystal cave of memories. It's not important how he got there because we're here to talk about Death. That sounded delightful. Anyhow, Puss is faced with his past lives calling him a coward. Where is the great Puss in Boots, they say. Then Death arrives and chases Puss. This is the most face-to-face -face we've actually seen them yet. And it's also where Puss finally realizes that the wolf is not a bounty hunter, but death itself. Puss is understandably terrified and runs off towards the wish. He's so panicked that he just runs right past the rest of his group when he finds them. He reaches the wishing star, ready to cast his wish when his friends show up. They're mad at him because he seems to have gone back to his old selfish self even after all that character development he just went through. He tries to explain that death is chasing him, but he is cut off by the fact that said death is here and ready for a true confrontation. At about this point, we started to figure out who death is and what he wants. Death has seen Puss treat all his lives frivolously, and he's had enough. He's come to end Puss so they won't wish for more lives and will understand the true meaning of death. Death isn't a completely one-sided character. He has a mission, and while he is the antagonist, near the end, he seems to less evil and more like a force of nature. Kind of like, and you won't believe this connection I'm gonna make here. Death. Death gives Puss his sword back, asking him if he will fight or run away from his problems like he's done in the past. Puss hesitates, and Death asks, Are all your lives flashing before your eyes? And Puss says, No, just this one. I think that's a good way of summing up Puss's character arc. He realized he doesn't need infinite life to be happy, and he isn't tying his self-worth to a notion he has about himself being the hero. He can appreciate what he has and be able to actually live his life. So they fight. They go back and forth between who's winning, and eventually Puss gets the upper hand. 
death relents, saying something along the lines of, I came for a selfish, arrogant legend who thought he was immortal, but I don't see him anymore. Puss couldn't have ever truly defeated death. No one can. But the reason death was chasing Puss disappeared when he realized that his target has changed. Okay, I don't know if you've been able to hear this, but my chair is really loud and it's probably gonna break at any minute and so I might fall off of it. So I'm just gonna let you know that you can let me know what your thoughts are down below. I thought this character was really good. What did you think? Anyhow, if you liked this video about characters, there's a video about the hero's journey right here, which is basically the epitome of character. Anyhow, I hope your day is full of wonder.